Hello guys, uh, my name is Milan. I'm a physical therapist and today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna discuss a little bit of what I look for when it comes to a uh, single leg stance uh, when I'm assessing patients and how uh, in single leg stance there can be a lot of uh, deficiencies in movement and compensations. So with a single leg stance one of the things that I'm looking for is a Trandellenburg and also I'm looking for a lateral hip shift that occurs when one is standing on that one leg. And the reason why this is important to look at is because at any one time, uh, whether you're running or walking, you're gonna be supported on that one leg. And when these compensations and deficiencies tend to occur for a prolonged period of time, that leads to not only acute issues, but also chronic. So some of the reasons for these compensations include you know, weakness in the hips, weakness in the core, but also there's another aspect to it as well where the congruency between the femur as well as the pelvis, whether there's anterior version or retroversion, and also even if there's a torsion in the tibia as well as the femur, uh, if there's any torsions that can affect it. Fallen arch, foot over pronation, uh, whether there's a, you know, a functional scoliosis or a congenital scoliosis, and also what we're gonna be kind of dwelling into a little bit more is that neurological coupling between uh, certain muscles where they're just not working efficiently. Some of the short-term consequences that we do see uh, as a result of these compensation patterns, uh, the lateral hip shift as well as the Trandellenburg, uh, do include things like the patellofemoral syndrome, trochanteric bursitis. You're also looking at uh, peasant's serene bursitis, IT band syndrome. And these are the short-term uh, consequences we do see, especially with uh, folks that they haven't exercised for a while and then they start ramping up their exercise regimen. That's when we see these acute inflammations occurring. I see there's a couple of reasons for it. So first of all, there's the poor biomechanics where the hips and the knees, they're just not aligning properly. Uh, so that's one of the reasons. Another reason that I do find is the muscles that are driving this, this alignment are not working properly. They're not coupling together the way they should be. Certain muscles are working harder than others and as a result of that, the ones that are working harder are gonna be getting the inflammation and reaching the capacity where they're not able to do any more work and that's when the pain and these acute inflammations do tend to occur. So the long-term consequences as a result of these compensations uh, that I've been discussing include uneven wear of the joints. So meaning that, you know, essentially arthritis due to a poor joint alignment. For example, in the hips or in the knees, there's a certain part of the knee or a certain part of the hip uh, that are uh, getting worn more than the others. Uh, and also these acute inflammations that I've discussed before, they can turn chronic. That leads to further scar tissue buildup. That inflammation also leads to further uh, wear and tear. And in addition to that, what I also see, especially in the senior population, is a progressive functional scoliosis. The hip compensating, whether it's shifting laterally or the opposite hip dropping, what happens then over time, the lumbar spine and the thoracic spine, they tend to twist. And, uh, and turn. This is why it's super important to get on these exercises, especially if you do notice that you're, you're kind of sh shifting a little bit, because in the long term, it's uh, really gonna be beneficial, not only for your activities currently, but also for your longevity and your uh, health span. So you might ask yourself, uh, you know, what can I do? Uh, you know, if I do have these compensations, if I do see that my hip is shifting out on one side, the hip is dropping on the other, other leg when I am uh, running. As a physiotherapist, I do my assessment and once I find those deficiencies, then what we do is we tailor a specific exercise program as well as a treatment plan that A, get out of pain if you are in pain, and then B, with the exercises, strengthen those particular muscles that need to be strengthened in order to improve the alignment of your hips and your knees.